Welcome to MKids. Let's start. We will sing, sing, sing and make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. What's not to love about? I would feel pretty good if I were God. But it wasn't enough for me. Everything in good working order and perfect. And yet, it wasn't all he wanted. He yearns for more. He wants to create one more thing. Humanity. He has a yearning for you and me. And because he longed for us, even before he made us, he dreams us up and makes us out of nothing. He forms us from dust so that it can be a friend to us. Every detail of you is fascinating and interesting. Nothing about you is a glitch or a mistake or a paint paintbrush that slipped. He stands back. He looks at you and says, You are good. You are great. I can't wait to journey with you. He still longs for you because he created you to be in a relationship with him. 
That's actually why you're here. Quite simple, really. You were made to know him. In the beginning, when everything was dark, God was there. Let there be light, God said, and a beautiful warm glow chased the darkness away. It's good, thought God. He called the light day and the darkness night. It was evening and it was morning, the first day. Let there be sky above the waters, God said, and a wide, blue, beautiful space divided the water below from the sky above. It's good, thought God. It was evening and it was morning, the second day. Let the waters come together, leaving some dry places, God said. He called the dry places land and the water seas. It's good, thought God. Now let there be trees and plants with seeds so that the land can be filled with more and more of them. The land became green and lush and beautiful and the air sweetly scented. It's good, thought God. It was evening and it was morning, the third day. Let there be light in the sky to separate day from night and to mark seasons, days, months and years, God said. The fiery sun gave light during the day and a cool bright moon and twinkling stars gave light in the night sky. It's good, thought God. It was evening and it was morning, the fourth day. Let the seas and the sky be filled with creatures, God said. And there were fishes swimming, and birds and butterflies flying everywhere. It's good, thought God. It was evening and it was morning, the fifth day. Let the land be filled with creatures of every kind, God said. And so animals, long-necked or short-tailed, soft-furred or hard-shelled, tusked or whiskered, crawled or ran or galloped, or bounced or swung through the trees. It's good, thought God. It was evening and it was morning, the sixth day. Now, let's make people to look after all of creation. They will be creative and thoughtful, able to love and be loved. Now that's very good. It was evening and it was morning, the seventh day. The story of how God made everything is in the Old Testament, in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. It is in these first two chapters of this book that we read how God made everything in just six days. God made time, and our time sometimes works differently, and people sometimes differ on how we should understand the story of creation. But the most important thing about the creation story is God made everything. He made everything really well. He made animals, plants, and everything with love and care. And He made us to be in relationship with Him. He still makes new things every day. New babies are born, plants grow, and the earth systems that all God also made continues anew every day. Every day that you wake up, it's a sign that God is still creating. Every day is a new opportunity to enjoy the life that God gives you, to enjoy it with Him. Every new day is a day that your friendship with God can grow and flourish into new opportunities so that you can get to know Him. That is exactly what God had in mind when He created everything, including you. He didn't, ma it, he didn't make us because He needs us or because He needs us to do things. He made us because He loves us. He made us to enjoy life with Him. Let that sink in for a moment. God creates 
so that we can be and live with Him. God made us so that we can be in relationship with Him. That should make us feel pretty special, right? Maybe you should also feel a little bit blown away by this reality. This friendship is certainly worth investing in, your time and your effort. Take some time to sit in, the, this, in your garden this week and imagine God sitting there with you and having a conversation with you. Then try the following. On day one, while you are sitting in the garden, ask God to show you how He sees you and how He feels about you. You can literally just say, God, what do you think about me? How do you feel about me? What do you see when you look at me? Then on day two, tell him about the most important things on your mind at this moment. On day three, ask him what he thinks about these three big things that you just told him about yesterday. On day four, ask God again how he sees you and how he feels about you. Remember, you can literally say, God, what do you think about me? How do you feel about me? What do you see when you look at me? On day five, tell God about three important people in your life. Share this with him. Tell him about those three people. And then on day six, while you are sitting in the garden, think about the gifts that God gives you because he loves you. Realize that the people you spoke to him about yesterday are also gifts from God to you because He loves you. Then, on the seventh day, just rest with God in the garden. Sit in silence and look at how beautiful He made everything. Try it this week, and if you want to, share what you felt and discovered with a friend or your parents. And let's see what God does in your life.